Hi guys, welcome back to HOWM. This is episode number three. Hands on with Michael, and today we're gonna to talk about uh, fragrance blending 101. So, welcome all guys. Please let me know if you can see me, you can hear me. So, I'm gonna be waiting for you guys to let me know. Uh, let, uh, show me. Let me know on the comments section, guys. So, I'm gonna be waiting for you. I know it's, I'm one minute early, so I'm just gonna wait for all of you guys to come in before we start, okay? So I have in here my iPad and I want to see if I can get uh, also uh, the video. Can you, do you know how this, how this works, Matthew? Okay, I see it right now. Wait for you guys to let me know and uh, show me. Okay, so, but I'm not going to put it on now because I don't want to put the sound. Okay, guys. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to wait for you to come in. Hello, the first, is that you, Matthew? Okay, I got one like. Is that Val? Okay. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. Welcome to uh, to the live stream. Happy Sunday. Yes. I'm going to wait for more people to come in so we can start. Today, we're going to talk about so much. As you can see, I have all these oils for me to share with you. And we're going to be talking about oil, uh, fragrance oil blending 101. Okay. So, hi, Val. Welcome. Yes, and Matthew is in the background also. Hello. So and he should be telling me the, the comments to see when everybody's here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Guys, you like the spread that I have for you? Only for you. I've been prepping for this for almost a week, okay? So I'm gonna be waiting for more people to come. So everybody can hear me and see me fine. Great. So let me just go in here. And let me just kill the volume. Hold on. Paula oh, Higgins is on. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hi, Paula. Welcome. Okay, let me see if I can make this bigger. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys, so I'm taking, I'm, I'm testing a new setup. I have my iPad in here, and I have my, uh, my MacBook in here. I have my microphone in here. And, um, okay. Hi, T. Williams. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to start. Hi, Jamie. Okay, hi, Matthew. For Jamie, okay. Hi. Okay, guys, so first, uh, let me just take care of business first, like I, like I said. So a lot of people have been asking me about uh, the new uh, bags that I got to use for my candles, guys. These are very bougie. You know, the material is very nice. Okay, so I want to share with you this. Uh, she's from Etsy, you know, and she sent me these samples to share with you also. They have a lot of sizes. You can customize them as you want, okay? So let me show you. So, you know... This is white with a nice with a nice ribbon. You know what I like about this is that the finish is this nice ribbon. You know that what makes it look expensive. Okay, then they have in here this the small one for jewelry. Okay, and the pink ribbon. Then they have them in gold, and they put the type also. Whatever you wanna write, they put it in there. Look how beautiful this is also for jewelry. Then this one also look how beautiful. This one in blue. Look at how nice the detail. This one in purple, also for jewelry. And then this one, these ones are a little bit bigger. So guys, you can just, uh, the, she has a selection of, on the menu. You tell them how much, how big you want this to be, okay? So these are very nice, guys. Look at this. Then this one is getting bigger. Look at how beautiful pink. Nice. And then this one is also. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put her link below on the description box okay uh and the name of the store is pure cotton packing okay and it's on etsy so i'm gonna put all these down in the description box so this is like the screenshot of this of the store and val is saying beautiful presentation thank you yes i think jamie's it, saying it's so cute thank you you know what it's, it's something different you know when you don't have the budget to buy boxes you know maybe this is also an alternative for you to package so that's what i'm you know that's why i want to share this with you for all of you that are starting out you know and trying to put the uh, your you kind of line out think about using these bags okay and it's very cheap very inexpensive guys believe it or not so let me just put this to the side in here okay okay and guys before i forget 1617.com are having a wonderful sale today a super secret Sunday sale, okay? And uh, this is gonna be for the Passion Prince. Uh, today only, buy one, get one 50% off, okay? 
Today only, the Passion Prince vessels at 1617.com. So this is a very uh, good deal. So you buy one case and you buy regular price and then the other, the other case uh, is 50% off, okay? And I believe you can uh, mix and match cases. So you can just select which one you want, okay? Excellent. I want to do this now because I always forget to, no, to, to do this, you know, and then I, you know, I, I just get so mad at myself. Okay. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about fragrance uh, oil blending, you know, and this is a subject that is very popular for people in, in the candle baking industry. You know, uh, everybody has different ways of blending scents, you know, so I'm going to show you the way I blend it. I blend them, you know, and also uh, the way some people like to blend them. I have to say, guys, that if you go to candle science, dot com they have wonderful um literature you know they have a lot of uh, on the website they have a lot of uh, ways to show you they have a lot of recipes to give you also uh you know so what i'm gonna do guys is uh, what i did is i took out all these different fragrance oils from four different companies the first one is from candle science second one is from the flaming candle the third one is from 1617.com and this one, number four, is going to be from stonecandles.com, okay? So these are uh, the oils that I use for my candles. I think, to me, these are the ones that I really, like, really like touch my heart. And I think when you when you find the oil that you love, uh, you know, and you want to make it better, so it's up to you to start mixing, you know, to see what kind of scents you want to make your own, okay? So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is about, I want, I want to read you about top notes. And uh, guys, do you have any questions for me? Uh, Jamie, I have not gotten the new one. Uh, it's on the mail. It should be. I should be getting it tomorrow. It's called. Uh, I forgot the name, but I should be getting it tomorrow because I got the, uh, it. got shipped yesterday. Okay, let's see. Hi, Marilu. Hi, Marilu. Uh, yes, Val. Is uh, there's a new fragrance oil? It's called something. Malevolent. What? Malevolent. I think he's a new. No, it's oil. not malevolent. It's. Uh, I'll put it down in the description box. If you go to 1617.com, uh, you, you'll find it, okay? So let me talk, talk to you about Top Notes. Top Notes, it is the lightest oils, and there are, they are the oils that you smell the first, okay? So the middle, the mid notes, it's what draws you into, into the fragrance when, once the top notes disappear. And the, and the base notes are the ones with the heaviest molecule uh, weight. So those are the ones that linger the most, and that, that's those are... Um, the nose that keep everything together, okay? Okay, so this is the way I like to blend my fragrance oils, guys. I like to use, if you are experimenting first, I like to use this color wheel, guys, in here. If you go to Pinterest, I'm gonna link all these below in the description box. So, you know the color wheel? Uh, let me just try to explain to you. When you do hair, when, I, when, I, when you choose to color your hair, you know, and you want to complement your hair with, a, with another color. So let's say if you're blonde, if you're blonde, and you want to, and you, make, you, and you want to make it look natural, so the yellow, then you go to purple. That neutralizes the yellowness, and that's making it neutral, okay? So the same, the same concept goes to the color wheel for uh, per, uh, perfumes, okay? So let's see, for example, Okay, so I want to make a, a scent that I want to be the strongest one. I want to be the lavender. Okay, so I'm going to use a lavender scent from whichever company. Okay, so let's say I'm going to choose a lavender from the flaming candle. I'm going to try mixing lavender, vetiver, and I'm going to see what all the lavenders you have. Okay, look at the different options that you have. So if you have one more, more, more than one lavender, pick them out. Okay, I have this one is vanilla and bread that I'm gonna mix with lavender because that's very good uh, combination. And I have lemon lavender. And let's see, I have black amber and lavender. Okay, so if you wanna make a lavender base fragrance, start with lavender, start with something very simple. Okay guys, so then you're gonna take the 10 strips and you're gonna name them because we're gonna take samples of the of each scent, okay? Lavender. If you want the wood, 
a lavender that has a woodsy uh, note. I recommend this one, lavender vetiver, okay? If you want a lavender scent that is more citrusy, I would recommend the lavender lemon, okay? Because it has the citrus. So what I'm trying to say is just go, go with it, um, with the two scents that you really want to have on, on your on your main on your final uh, candle, and then just you know, start making scents uh, scent strips out of them. So lavender, lemon lavender. So what I like to do, guys, is I like to to prep them and put them to the side, let them dry. Okay. Okay, that's number one. So we're making a lavender scent can, uh, fragrance. And now I'm gonna try lavender vetiver. Again, this is from the flaming candle. And I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay. And I'm gonna let them dry. Okay, let's try making another mix. Okay. Let's try making a, let's see. Ozonic blend. Ozonic meaning rain, meaning uh, when you go to the beach and you smell the, the aroma of the, of the ocean, that's ozonic to me. So I'm gonna look in here on the wheel and I'm gonna look ozone. So ozone says it's fresh, marine, or linen, okay? Those are the main uh, notes for, uh, for the ozone, okay? And then you go across. What's across is the floral. So the ozonic, notes go great with the floral notes okay meaning rose gardenia honeysuckle okay so i'm gonna take uh let's see an ozonic fragrance oil that i have in here from candle science okay i'm gonna take sea mist and i'm gonna match this with the floral okay so let's see Any questions? No? Not at this stage. Okay, so I'm looking for a floral, guys. From Candle Signs. If I cannot find it from Candle Signs, something that I want, I'll go to another brand. I'll go to another, uh, another brand. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try guys using I'm gonna try using the gardenia with the sea mist together, okay? This is uh, ozonic, this is floral, okay? Let's see how this goes together. And we're gonna try an experiment. So just follow the guide. So you make the fragrance strip. Okay, so I'm gonna try Cardinia first. So Bougie Candle says Seaside Plumeria is a nice one from Candle Science. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna take a note of that because I, I'm looking for new scents. Okay, and I'm gonna take Sea Mist from Candle Science. Yeah, guys, I want you guys to, to let me know about recommendations of blends that you made, you know, so you know I can try them for you next time. Okay, so I have it here. Sea Mist and Gardenia to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna smell the first one, Lavender Vetiver and lemon lavender, okay? So let's see what we get. I clean my nostril with my hands. Oh my God, lavender vetiver is very sophisticated, guys. Beautiful, very calm, very, very uh, bougie. Very soft, very aroma, aroma, uh, aromatic, you know, for aromatherapy. And the lemon lavender, you 
This is very potent, you look how yellow it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, this works really well. The only thing that is turning me off a little bit, guys, and the citrus is very potent. So the citrus is taking over the lavender. So this is not really like, if you want a lavender, can, uh, can uh, fragrance oil, this is not it, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side, the lemon one, and I'm gonna try another lavender. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to tell, guys, is by, you know, by just smelling them. Okay, so I have another lavender in here. I saw it a little bit before. Jamie says, I have a blended Calais for 23 from 1617 with Cass I have blended Calais 23 from 1617 with Cassis from Stone Candles, mm -hmm. and I have not burned it yet. Okay, let me do that right now then. So anyway, so I'm going to do that later on. Let me just do the uh, fine. I have an, okay, I have black amber and lavender. So I'm going to mix it to see how it works on this one. I have cassis in here somewhere. Okay, let me just... So guys, do you get what I'm trying to say? Uh, it's fine, but guys, all they have something in common. And just make fragrance strips like I'm doing right here and then just and smell them. That's the only way you're gonna be able to, to say whether you like that or not, okay? Okay, so having here lavender vetiver and having here black amber and lavender. Wow, uh, the black amber is very potent on this, but I love it. It's very intense. It gives it a richness to the lavender, okay? Wow, okay, this works really well, guys. I would really I recommend you guys to try this on a candle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I have these glass vials, guys, and I have I like to to put the strips that I like. I fold them and I put the strips inside. Okay, and let it finish drying them together, okay? So just let it let it marinate, okay? And see in a few minutes how you like that, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna try the, the recommendation that you that you told me, okay? So cassis, let me see if I have cassis in here. Matthew, I have in the closet uh, in one of the, the white beans on the right. Look for cassis on a bottle like this. On a bottle like this, it says cassis. You found it? Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna mix cassis with Kai 23 and let's see what we get. You see, this is what I like to do this live, so you guys can really give me recommendations. Let's see. Val purchased the tubes from um, Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, good. They're very inexpensive, guys. And you know what? It's the best thing you can do. Okay, so let's see. Cassis. And to begin, when you begin testing, guys, just do like, it's very hard to measure how much you want to test versus the other one. And uh, you're going to do ratios in another video. That's how you control how much you want of uh, which of, of each scent by ratios. By ratios, I mean, okay, if I want the lavender to be stronger, so you do uh, two to one two to lavender and one to uh, black amber. So that's what I'm trying to say. 
Okay. Now I'm very curious about this, this blend because as you know guys, Kaya 23 is my favorite scent from 1617 so far. Okay. Kaya 23 guys by itself, it's heaven on earth. Okay. Cassis. Because it has so much energy too, you know? So let's see how they go together. Wow. I, I'm afraid they're gonna be too strong together, but let's see, you never know. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let me just clean my nose. Okay. Okay. I need to let it dry more. Personally, I don't like it. Why? Because to me, this is to me, this is very personal, guys. Remember, fragrance is different for everyone. You know, to me, this smells like gasoline. It, it's giving me that vibe of gasoline, you know? It's, it's not, it's not for me. But I'm not gonna give up on them yet. I'm gonna put them inside a glass vial and let's see how they marinate together, okay? Because remember the notes evaporate and the, it's, you have to give it a chance, okay? I'm not gonna say, don't do this. Everybody's different. I'm gonna give it a chance and I'm just gonna tell you what I feel about this at the end of the live stream, okay? So Bougie Candle said, Kaye 23 used to be my fave until Eternal knocked him off the pedestal. Oh yeah, Eternal is really good, but it's a, it, to me it's a different vibe, you know? So again, everybody likes different things, okay guys? Okay. So let me let me just tell you also on this on this mix that I have in here, okay? So from Candle Science, you know, it says when it comes to uh, blending fragrances, there is no right or wrong. As you begin working with scents regularly, you'll find that your nose for fragrance gets gets more refined. Yeah, it's like cooking, you know? It's like, you know, the more you do it, the more the more uh, experience you get. So uh, the more you do it, like, it's like I know if I if I work with the 1617 uh, fragrance oil, I know I'm familiar with the, with the scent, I'm familiar with the notes, okay? So I know what's gonna, if I, whether or not I'm gonna be liking to be mixed with something else. You know, it's come with experience. It's just like, um, when you learn a new skill, you know, it takes time. It's like when you learn how to paint, you know, and you blend how to, you see how the, the colors blend together. It's the same thing when you blend fragrance oil. That's the same principle, okay? That's why it's good to start with a chart like this so you get a guy, okay, what goes good with that, okay? So you, and that's how you start developing a sense of, okay, what works with what? So, yes! Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Okay, the benefits of blending fragrances together is fragrance blending is a lot of fun, but it's also a great way to differi differi differentiate your, bl your brand. That's how you customize your brand, okay? That's why, uh, especially if, uh, with my candles, Candle Romance the shop, don't forget to visit my, my website. Anyway, so that's how you make your candles unique. That's how you put your signature. On, on your candles, you know, and it's something that it should be, um, you don't want to share your formula because you don't want people to steal in your, you know, your, your candle formulas, okay? And if you go to the uh, to the Candle Science website, guys, they give you 30, 30 different fragrance oil blends ideas for you to start, okay? So it's very useful because they give you uh, the different combinations in there and I'm telling you guys, they are really, really nice combination for you to start and then you can branch out of there okay so it's like i'm telling you go to candle science website and you learn a lot because they have a lot of good in, uh, education in there okay let's see what else let's see what else guys so i'm gonna start telling you about the fragrance oils that i that i just blended let me see so i did four four different blends okay guys and we're gonna start with fragrance blend number one okay So I came up with this yesterday. I was prepping for all for you guys, you know, and I just decided, you know what? Let me just give you um, 
four different uh, kind of formula formulations, you know, and that you're gonna love. Okay, I think this, these four, and I'm gonna I'm gonna link them down below. I'm gonna put the whole formula down in the description box so you can try them and let me know what you think about it. Okay. Okay. So the first one that I did from Candle Science, guys, I mix. Let's see if I can find it in here now. Rose petals, and I mix it because I I went by. My, my color wheel, okay? So I mix rose petals with, with a woodsy one, which is out wood. So these two together, guys. I'm telling you, and I put it in this file. Heavenly. Heavenly, okay? And let me read you the notes. I'm gonna read you the notes for both so you can see why I love this so much. Let me just get the notes out of here now. So rose petals, that's, this is how you uh, kind of educate yourself why the fragrances work together so well. Okay, so rose petals, the top note is green leaves, ozone, the middle notes are Ylang Lang, lily of the valley, carnation and rose, the base note is peppercorn and powder, okay? Now, why this works with the other one? Let me just read you the notes for Outwood. The top note is cardamom and black pepper. Middle note is amber, vanilla, patchouli. And the bottom note is uh, guaca wood, tonka bean, and cedar. So it's very woodsy at the end, okay? Um, so what I like about it is like, it's woodsy, the base note is woodsy, you know? And also, it has uh, the tonka bean, which is like a resin, you know? And it's also, it blends so well with the spice of peppercorn and the powder, okay? This is beautiful combination and it brings everything together, you know? So if you're looking for a floral with a kick, try this one. Okay, any questions from you guys? No? Okay. So I'm going to keep going, guys, until you tell me to stop and just... I would love to know, guys, what do you guys do when you blend formulas? What do you look for? What do you, uh, what, are, what are you aiming for? You know, what is the, uh, the, the end result? Uh, what kind of vibe are you looking for when you create a candle? That's, that's when I start making a candle, that's, or a blend, that's what I ha have on my mind. Okay, I wanna make a candle, especially for the holidays. I wanna make a holiday candle, which I'm gonna share with you guys. It's gonna be epic. Uh, what kind of scent do I want to bring to this candle that is not a regular, like, um, sweet scent or baking scent or uh, pine scent? You know, it's just something different, something unique. Uh, and then that's how you start. Okay, if I like this, if you like pine, so you just take different kind of pine scent, you know? If you like a little bit of spiciness, just go by the spicy note, and then you start blending them. And that's how you uh, come with a, with a brand new formula, okay? Okay, candle number two, blend number two that I will recommend to you guys is from the Flaming Candle Smoke Vanilla. This is, I love this. I love the vanilla in this because it's, it's kind of like adult vanilla. It has like a, like a mystery scent, you know, and it's I just love it. And then I mix it up because I want something wicked. I mix it up with Midnight Bourbon, okay? Beautiful. This one has a, a top note bergamot, orange zest, and aromatic. Uh, the mid note is Bourbon Accord, uh, clove leaf, peppercorn, lavender, okay? And the bottom note is amber, amber wood, leather, woody, smooth, musk. So this makes it like an, uh, an adult blend. It's very deep, very romantic, very passionate. It has a lot of energy, you know? But it's, it's very comforting at the same time. Uh, this is a winter scent. And I really highly recommend this, uh, this for you guys. This is very, very unique, okay? 
uh, the bourbon gives it like like uh, like <clears throat> that kick that you need. Beautiful. Any? Let's see. Okay, guys, I spent almost the whole day yesterday just trying to come up with this for you. You know, um, I'm so happy that I did because it's I love them. Okay, and this one is gonna be candle. This is candle number three, and guys, this is gonna be um, a holiday candle for you. Okay, this combination is gonna be perfect for the holidays. Okay. Let's see, how many? We have 31 more. Uh, guys, can you please give me some likes so the video does better? I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, and this is the holiday scent that I promised you guys. Uh, it's going to be cinnamon and vanilla from Candle Science combined with phaser fur from the flaming candle, okay? Beautiful. This is the perfect, the perfect holiday scent. It gives you the sweetness of the cinnamon and the vanilla, but it's not like a like the bakery scent. You know, it's more more uh, a step above than the bakery. Okay, um, the notes for the cinnamon and vanilla is the top note is clove and cinnamon, very spicy. The mid note is ice cream, and the base is vanilla, beautiful. The fresh fur it brings you the top note is green, the mid note is Siberian pine. And the bottom note is cedar moss, woodsy. Something neat and chic just joined and says hello everyone, just joined from Northern California. Oh, thank you. And burning oceans of love candle. Oh, thank you so much, thank you. I'm so glad. I'm telling you guys, every single candle that I make, people love. You know, it's, it's just like, when you make something with so much care and so much effort and so much uh, dedication, it shows, you know, and when you make it with so much love, it even it gives it an ingredient of even more uh, more bouginess, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Now, candle number, scent blend number four, guys. And this is for, who's the, uh, Jamie, this is for you. So, you, you blend the Kaya 23 with, uh, with Cassis. So, guess what? I'm, I'm blending Kaya 23 with Kathmandu. Okay, both of them from 1617.com. Okay, this is ethereal for me. It's energetic, at the same time very spiritual. It takes, it takes you to another level. Uh, I don't know, you know, like, I, I don't know guys, if you saw, did you see my, my intro video that I put for my for my website, guys? Uh, uh, Hidden Passion. It was inspired to me by the island, of, the Big Island of Hawaii. You know, this inspired me the Big Island of, of Hawaii too. Okay, why? Because it's it, it brought me so much joy. It, the fruitiness of the Kaya Twenty Three. You know, the dark chrome that gives you the the robust uh, essence. You know, and when you add the Kathmandu, it's very spiritual. Very like. You know, when you go on vacation and you just sit on the ocean and just want to look and you reflect of, okay, this is what I'm here. And so you're grateful for what you have. You re So this one makes you feel grateful, happy, energetic, you know, and just energizes you to to what's coming next. Okay, and this is what to me is what this combination scent is giving you. Again, Kanye 23 and Kathmandu. Highly recommended. Okay, guys, so these are my four can candle blends, fragrance blends that I have for you. I hope you try them, you know, and let me know what you think about them. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking questions, guys. Do you have any suggestions of uh, blends that you want me to try from all this in here, guys? I have in here sea salt and orchid. I know you guys love this. Okay, I want to make a blend sea salt and orchid. Can you recommend me? A fragrance that you want me to mix with this, okay? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for your recommendation, guys, okay? Sizzle and Orchid. Have you guys tried this with something else? This is one of my favorite ones. So I'm gonna make a fragrance strip of Sizzle and Orchid and I'm gonna be waiting for you guys to let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an idea of what I wanna mix with this, okay?
Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look in here. Sea salt and orchid. Let me see if I made that that notation in here. I don't think I did. Okay, I got it. So the top nose of sea salt and orchid is orange and ozone, okay? So this is citrusy to begin with. The middle nose is green leaves, freesia, and sea salt. The base is amber, light musk, and tonka bean. Okay. So, since we are in an ocean kind of mood, okay? I'm gonna try mix this with what they recommend to mix. Candle kind of Science recommend to mix sea salt and orchid with santal and coconut, okay? So let's give it a shot to make it a true tropical summer blend. Santal and coconut. Okay, and now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find out the notes for Santal and coconut, and I'll tell you, I'm gonna read you what they are. Jamie loves sea salt and Yeah, I'm telling you, it's it's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Okay, the, the top note for Santana coconut is coconut milk and benzoin. The middle note is sandalwood and coconut. The base notes Amiris, tonka bean, and cedar, okay. So, the base notes are similar to sea salt and orchid, okay guys? So this is gonna be, let me see. So the base notes for sea salt and orchid is amber, light moss, and tonka bean. And this, the base notes is amber for uh, Santa Anne coconut, am amiris, tonka bean, and cedar, okay? So they're similar. So this, one day it tells me that this is gonna go beautifully, okay? Let me tell you, because my opinion, I'm gonna be very honest, do I like this or not? And I'm not too crazy about coconut scents, so we'll see. <sighs> wow. Cheers. C says, Michael, what do you recommend as a blend with Eterno? On its own, I get nothing from that fragrance, but I would want to love it. Okay, However, hold on. do is simply amazing. Yeah. I'll get to you. After I do this one, but I have an amazing idea for you guys. Eternal, it's epic. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so let's see this one. So, uh, sea salt and orchid, and uh, Santana and coconut, a match made in heaven. Okay, guys, this is a must for everyone who's looking for a summer, uh, summer for a summer scent. Uh, the uh, candle science people were right. This blends well uh, with. Santana and coconut blends well with mango and coconut milk, Jamaica me crazy, coconut lime, verbena, sandalwood, and amber and driftwood, okay? So Candle Science gives you the recommendations of what you can blend with this scent, okay? And sea salt and orchid and Santana and coconut, guys, amazing. Truly, truly, truly amazing. I like it because it complements each other. Nothing is overpowering at the other scent, you know? It's like, it's like really like having a nice party in, on the beach, you know? Um, yeah, very nice for the summer, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put this inside a glass vial because I'm gonna think about this for a future candle. I really like this a lot. You know, again, get these vials, guys. I'm gonna link them below. I got them from uh, 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 Amazon, very cheap, and also I think you can get them from the blog, from the dollar store. Okay, so let me just put this away. Beautiful. And this is a good way, guys, when you come, when you uh, find your formula or the candle that you want to make and you want to save it for future references, this is the way to do it, okay? Great. Okay, now let's go to 1617, guys. Let's go to 1617 because I have to be honest, they're my favorite. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you want to... Let's see, Eternal, this one here. Okay, the notes are for Eternal. Okay, 
Okay, the fam the, the fragrance family, this is what I love since 17. They give you the fragrance family. It's Oriental Floral. The top note is Magnolia Blossom. The middle note is Frangipiani or Plumeria and Jasmine. And the base note is Tobacco and Vanilla. Tell you guys. Okay, so let me just make a fragrance tip of this. Okay, now let me just make the scent and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna mix it with and why. Okay, so if you wanna compliment Eternal, just look at the fragrance family, guys. Okay, this is Oriental Floral. So go back, go back and look at the different. What else do I have on that on that uh, fragrance family? Do they have any other uh, scents on the Oriental? Floral, okay. So let's see. Mayfield, no. Le Jordan, no. Kathmandu, no. Egomaniacal Green, no. Kaya 23, no. Mojave, Woodsy. Okay. You wish. You wish. It's the one, guys. Let's try when you wish. Why? Because it's on the same family. Paul Higgins is saying sea salt and orchid, black sea, white tea. Okay, I'll do that next. You wish, okay? So let me do a fragrance slip on you wish. And guys, as you remember, you wish when I was reviewing it, it was the first fragrance that I named to me, it was uh, gender fluid. Uh, because even though it's described to be feminine, to me it has feminine and uh, masculine uh, components, you know? So, okay, let's see. This one, you wish. Oh, by the way, the new fragrance from 1617.com, uh, it's uh, gender neutral. Uh, I'm so happy that 1617 uh, went there because Things have to change, you know. We have to revolutionize, you know. We, it's it's time for everyone to be free to be have no labels, you know, and just to be um, to be happy with what we are. Okay, okay. Eternal. Okay, let me read the notes again. Let me find it. Okay, the notes for Eternal is Magnolia Blossom is a top note, okay? The top note for you wish, Arabian Jasmine, so you're mixing the two flowers together, the Jasmine and, and Magnolia. Oh my God, they are embracing each other. Try this, oh my God. Oh my God, this is amazing. The middle notes, for Eternal is Frangipani and Jasmine. The middle notes for You Wish is Galbanum. Again, they're just intertwining each other, like they're having a fun time in the garden. The middle notes, okay, the, the base notes for Eternal is Tobacco and Vanilla. And the base note for You Wish is Labdanum and Vanilla. Guys, these work so good together. It's a beautiful floral, okay, that it gives you the uh, the illusion that you're working in a beautiful uh, flower garden. It's not overpowering at all. All the fragrances are blending together really well. Uh, try this combination, okay, and let me know what you think about this, okay? That's why, try the same family, try playing with the same family. The family of this is Oriental Floral for both of these fragrances from 1617, okay? So again, I'm mixing here You Wish with Eternal. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put this also in a glass vial for future reference. Beautiful combination, guys, beautiful. 
nothing is competing with each other everything is blending really well you know so i'm pretty sure that when you make a candle out of this you know people are gonna think oh my god this is so beautiful so different what is it you know and this is your own signature okay when you blend two fragrances together you make your own signature you, you make your own scent okay so try this beautiful okay Yes, and if you want to make it stronger, if you want to give it a kick, a little bit of Alastair. Alastair is very, you have to be careful, Alastair is very potent, okay guys? So when you play with Alastair, uh, you want to make sure that you want uh, the component of Alastair to be the main component and just blend it with something that is milder because Alastair by itself to me is like a no-brainer, okay? It's like I tried blending Alastair and Kaya 23 and I didn't like it. It was, it's like... Uh, too too strong with each other, so that was my first. It was not my favorite. Okay. Okay, let's see. Jamie, you want me to do Alastair, you wish, on number three? Okay, let's do that. I'm going to start Alastair. Alastair. Okay, so let me see. First, let me look at the at the notes and the family. Fragrance family. Okay, Alastair, the family is woody and masculine. Okay. Lumber Street, a lot of people, I mean, not a lot of people, a few of you have told me that it's not your favorite one. Again, this is very different for everyone. You can blend it with something else and you can make it amazing. Okay. Lumber Street. Again guys, the reason why I started uh, Blending with all these companies again, I'm gonna repeat to you guys, is because these are the four different companies that I'm using for my candle line. And these are the ones that I find to me giving me the best HD so far. And you wish, okay. I almost dropped the oil, guys. This is why, guys, it's, it's good for you to get, to get the uh, the sample package. So you can try mixing and maxing them, you know? It's it's so convenient. You don't have to buy the big bottles if you don't want. If you just want to uh, introduce yourself to 1617 fragrance oils, that's the best way to do it, okay? Okay, guys, so here we go. So I'm going to be... You wish, and this is the fragrance family Oriental Floral. Oh, my God. Alastair. It's woody and masculine. Okay, so let me just do this first. So I'm doing oriental floral with you wish. And Alastair, which is woody and masculine. Okay, let's see. I like it, but it's very strong. I mean, you must want to make a strong candle out of this, okay? And then Lumber Street is going to give me the feminine side to make it a more gentle neutral, okay? Beautiful floral, oh my God, okay? So then Lumber Street, Lumber Street, floral, okay? Okay, I find it too potent. I find, um, uh, Alastair and You Wish is overpowering uh, Lumber Street, and it's it's not it's not giving me uh, the energy the vibe that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna pull out on the, uh, Lumber Street out uh, out of the game, and I'm gonna see Alastair and Lumber Street together without You Wish. Okay, again Alastair is very strong, guys.
Okay, so let me just... Because Alastair is very strong, I'm going to pull it back. And I'm going to pull Lumber Street higher, okay? So I'm going to get the whiff of Lumber Street first. And let's see what happens. This is better. It's better because I get the uh, the floral uh, notes from, from Lumber Street first. And I get the background of the tobacco uh, from the Alastair. Okay, let me see if I put you wish right on the same level as Lumber Street and pull back on Alastair. Let's see what I get. No. Alastair is too potent. Um, it's, it's too much going on, you know? It's that when you put too much on the pot, guys, it, nothing really comes up. Like being like the most focus of attention, you know, uh, what, what you feel, this is what I, this is the way I feel. What this is giving me is like, oh my God, it's too much. Okay. So it doesn't work for me. However, Lumber Street and You Wish together, they're beautiful. Amazing. Yes. Okay, guys, do you have any more suggestions for me? Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to end the, the live stream here, you know. I'm really like kind of overpowered with the different smells, you know, so I need to take a break. I want to thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit from me. And when I link all the formulas that I did down in the description box, I'm gonna link also the different uh, the wheel that I have in here so you can get familiarized with what goes with what. Again, use the opposite from the wheel that works together. Okay, I'm gonna link also the, uh, the Candle Sciences website so you can, uh, for the fragrance blend 101. Okay, and I'm also gonna uh, link uh, my the Essence store that I use for the, for the bag that I show you. And also, uh, don't forget to, to check the, the sale at 1617. All the passion prints today only buy one case. The other case have 50% off. Okay, guys? Thank you for joining me, guys. Give me more likes, guys. And I'll see you on next Sunday on the next live stream. And have a wonderful week. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to give me likes, guys. I love you. Bye. Yes! Yes!